What's up everyone? I am Top Dragster and welcome to the first race of the Krispy Kreme series for Nathan Stapleton here at Daytona International Raceway. Getting ready for the first race here. Qualifying looks like this. The number two, that is Aldra Baranowskis. I very much apologize if I just butchered that name. Um, if I butcher any of these names, I apologize. So, the two is on the pole, 52, Griffin Lynn, and he's starting on the outside. Then the 99, which is Robert Wanescu. And then the 74, Josh Irpacito. He's on the outside of row two. The 01 of Nick Kennedy is fifth. Six, Tom Jonas. And then row four. We have the 17, that is Luke Ryan. Jeff Bright, number three. And then rounding out the top 10, we have the 19 of Julius Anderson and the four of Mitchell Carter. And we look through the rest of the results here on down for all 40 cars starting this race. So 20 laps for this one. We're going to get going here. It's cloudy here in Daytona for this one. As we are going to go racing here in the spirit of what is taking place this weekend, the Daytona 500. So two cars and the 52 will lead them to the stripe to start this 20 lap. Inaugural event for the Krispy Kreme series. Pace car going to make the turn. The green flag is out here at Daytona. We are racing. I think the two is trying to side draft the 52 there that was a pretty aggressive move but it will pay off he will take the lead with the 01 right behind him the 17 and the 19 now on the low side two going to pull back down in front of the 17 the inside lane is definitely the preferred lane it's the quicker way the quicker way around that's a mouthful But the 52 is able to hold his ground so far, but the two will lead lap one. Now the 19 going to look low here. Is it two? Oh, that's tight. Two is not able to clear the 19. 19 of Julius Anderson to the point pushed by the 20. Max Anderson. The 87 of Eric Powers, third on the inside now. Third car on the inside I should say. As you can see the inside lane is definitely preferred. 20 looking for the lead as we have now completed lap 2. We are now a tenth of the way through this race. 20 gonna have the advantage. 20 Max Anderson takes the lead. Now the six, that is Justin Carter, with help from Eli Bright in the 88. Going to take the inside here, the 20, right in the middle here. And now he cuts back down in front of the 88. But now the 88 with the inside. Three wide now for second. At the 44, very glitchy 44, <laughs> is now uh, second on the inside. I'm not sure why that car is as glitchy as it is, so it, but uh, I'll have to look into that. But Eli Bright is now the leader in the 88. Here comes the 13 on the low side now. 
Nope, he'll get forced to the middle. Ethan Timms. Bruno De Burros in the zero. Eighty-eight holding the lead as we have now started lap five. Here comes the eleven. Tyler Lyman gonna claim the inside here. An excellent move. Tyler Lyman to the lead. Pushed by Regan Whitlock, 62. As the 14. Josh Stenger gonna look three wide. Three wide for second as we'll give the advantage to the 11. Coming through to complete lap five, going to lap six. Here comes the 42 now, Matt Montoya. Eleven with the advantage. They're all three wide behind him. But now here comes the 98, 16. 98 going to look low. Cement Oskin looking for the lead. 93 of Dragon Critic. Right behind. 98 to the point. 93 pushed by the 24, which is also glitched out. <laughs> I've got to look into that then. 40, or 24, I mean. Looking to make it three wide here for the lead. He has the preferred lane. 24, that is JT Hanley. Takes the lead. 25 now, low side for Michael Anderson. Now the 15 pulls out. Alex walk into the point. So far, pretty calm and stable, despite it being 3 wide. Now the 25 with help from the 05. The 05 is Roger Ray. Pushing the 25 to the point. Here comes the 51 of Alexander Rowe now. Third on the inside. He will look low. Bringing a whole ton of cars behind him. 25 looks to block. This will open the door for the 39 of Rebecca Tyler. Thirty-nine gonna stay tucked in here. Twenty-five will lead that lap. Here comes the forty-three. Joshua Mayfield. Tristan Allen in the 22 making it three wide. He now takes the lead. And now the four with plenty of help. 22 with no help. Now the four going to look up here. The four that is Mitchell Carter. 33. Tyson Aquino. 33 to the lead. 99. Now going to look to the low side. Now starting lap 10. Robert Wanescu. Again, I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. Going to get forced to the middle here. By the 74. Joshua Presido. 52 and 5. Right with him. Now the 52 going to look low. Griffin Lynn. Fifty two with the advantage is going to inch ahead here and clear as we have a crash. Crash as we are gonna take the halfway point here. It's gonna be tight here for the lead, but the fifty two will get it. Leading at the halfway point. And at the caution. Caution out here. As we have started lap eleven. Fifty-two, nineteen, seventy-four, eighty-five. 
one car on a pit road. There's the five. Also, it looked like the old one there. Terrible crash. Let's find out what happened. So coming through three and four, it looks like we're going four wide back here. We're going to get to about the six car here. Go helicopter to find out. We'll put it out, but four wide really doesn't work here at Daytona. Looks like you might clip the one car here. Oh, he's actually forcing the issue. Ooh. And then he just moves up a bit and takes everyone else with him. Upside down. That looks like the five. 16 into the wall. Head on impact between the 15 and the zero one. The four, the 39. Now you see the five up against the wall. And impact there for the 15. Heavy damage now on both cars. And an insult to injury hit there for the five. 